Tonight, the world watches as Vladimir Putin declares parts of Ukraine belong to him in a televised tirade, and he orders Russian military into the region in what Putin calls peacekeeping operations. Russia's president defiant, recognizing the independence of two rebel regions in Ukraine, why some fear that's the first step toward a bloody war. We're on the ground tonight from the Donbass region. They say that it's recently been targeted with artillery by the Russian-backed separatists. Jury deliberations begin in the federal hate crimes trial of the three men convicted of murdering Ahmad Aubrey, why prosecutors call the defendants vigilantes motivated by racial anger. Back-to-back -back winter storms were tracking two weather systems bringing heavy snow and ice. Royal health scare. Queen Elizabeth tests positive as England prepares to repeal all of its COVID restrictions. Struggling restaurants. How the Omicron surge forced small businesses nationwide to close. Many still fighting to reopen. Rats found at Family Dollar Warehouse. More than 400 stores have temporarily shut down as the FDA warns of rodent-related health risks. Big fight in the Big Ten. The investigation tonight after coaches lose their cool in a post-game brawl. And a school teacher makes history after decades of collecting it. We'll tell you how. This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell, reporting from the nation's capital. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Jerika Duncan in for Nora. War in Eastern Europe is getting closer after Russian President Vladimir Putin declares the independence of two breakaway regions in Ukraine. After the announcement, Putin ordered a, quote, peacekeeping operation to begin in the two regions. That would mean the deployment of Russian troops and weapons into those areas. And tonight, we want to show you these unconfirmed pictures. Let's only hope and pray, Jamie. Phenomenal job covering the Olympics. Thank you. Still ahead on tonight's CBS Evening News, the Kentucky Derby winner is officially stripped of his title while his trainer is suspended from racing. A college basketball coach faces discipline after this brawl on court. And what's next for the hundreds of family dollar stores forced to close? There's some big news tonight in horse racing. Medina Spirit was officially stripped of his title today. Up next, a multi-million dollar collection of African-American history and the retired school teacher who shares the lessons she's learned. If you can't watch the CBS Evening News, you can listen. Subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Sponsored by Crest. One of the largest largest collections of African-American artifacts is going on the auction block, and what might be more incredible than the collection itself is the retired school teacher who spent a lifetime, a lifetime putting it all together. Here's CBS's Dana Jacobson. African -American News, New York. Holiday. We'll be right back. Tomorrow, American innovation protecting our nation's cities from climate change and the threat of rapidly rising waters. Well, that's tonight's CBS Evening News. For Nora O'Donnell and all of us here, I'm Jerika Duncan. Have a great night.